Baker Mayfield had successful surgery on his uh, broken humerus, torn labrum, and everything else he had going on in his shoulder, which, you know, held him back drastically this season. And I think it was oh, very yeah. obvious. So yeah. much so that old uh, Stefanski actually said, I'd say he is certainly handcuffed by the injury because the harness is kind of keeping him tight, and he's a very vicious, twerking quarterback whenever he – not twerking, twerking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Torque. I ain't twerking. Torque. 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 Mm-hmm. He's got a lot of twisty and tur- torquey. Right. Yeah. Whenever he throws. Has to. Use his entire body. So the harness was keeping him kind of tight. He was throwing probably 60%, 65% of what he could. Probably affected his accuracy is what Stefanski was saying and a lot of the media and everybody else that was around Baker was saying. Baker wasn't saying that necessarily directly to the public at first. But then as the public continued to turn on Baker Mayfield's performance in the OBJ Senior Instagram post, which have now led to OBJ being unbelievable in Los Angeles. Uh, There's just a narrative, especially with a contract coming up, that Baker was, you know, the problem in Cleveland. And the team that was supposed to go on an incredible run and win the AFC North finishes third, I think, in the AFC North. Fourth. 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 Because the Ravens finished. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth in the (laughs) AFC North. They're supposed to go on a... Tony. Sorry. Tony. I just realized that. I yeah, know. we did too. And this goes back once again to us not scripting the show and knowing where the fuck we're going to go. <laughs> and also being petty. <laughs> and also being yeah. very yeah. petty. Yeah. Yeah, over there. yeah, but anyways, the Browns end up fourth in the AFC North with an injury, but he played every single game. They had most of their roster intact, even though everybody has injuries. They are not making a playoffs. It was a big time year. They're supposed to go ahead and take that next step after winning a playoff game against the Steelers the year before. I mean, it was a lot of expectation. And inevitably, Cleveland ended up back in the same place they're normally at, which is what the fuck is going on? Yeah. yeah. So now, Baker Mayfield has come out and released a video about his surgery, thanking the surgeon and everything. And in his tweet, he says, God bless, and I can't wait to get back to my normal self. Listen to the video, and let's try to figure out everybody's overanalyzing of it, of what they think is going to be taken out of context potentially from this. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to check in. Surgery went great. Uh, was a complete success. Had a great medical team. Uh, that took care of me and um, checked that that box off to get this fixed and now it's on the way to you know the road to recovery um, you know this is a, a one of those steps to get back to my true self um, this past year hasn't been very easy uh, a lot of stuff has gone down and, and it wasn't wasn't easy on me or my family so I appreciate everybody that's reached out that wished me well and good luck on the surgery all the prayers and everything it, it definitely did not go unnoticed so thank you um, thanks to everybody that's helped out so far. Felt um, yeah. mm-hmm. now it's now it's on the way to the road to recovery. It's not going to be an easy one, but um, it's going to be one that I'm going to remember, and it's going to be a special one. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you so much. Uh, but this is the this is not the end of my story. Uh, it's just going to be one of those little things that I'll look back and remember that it's um, one of those challenges that and adversity that I'm going to try and take advantage of and it'll make me a better person. Mm. So thank you for everybody that's reached out. Once again, uh, let's go get it. And why is he wearing a tank top? But at it, baby. Get it. Yeah. So well. Get it. well, he's yoked. I would like him, you know, exactly. I, I think that he put on that orange tank top to either represent the Browns, but it seemed to be an uncomfortable tank top. That was one of my first takeaways when I didn't listen to the words. It was like, okay, interesting tank top choice. I think he's probably shirtless. They said, you gotta, let's put something on Pop for this. Something yeah. on for you. Obviously, that was the closest thing, whatever the case. Let's start talking about how he said, I want to use it as something to make me a better person or a better whatever and get back to his true self. Life is not perfect. Right. And this is something that I think a lot of people fantasize about a world in which people who are successful lives are just as easy. Boom. And there's all these memes and graphs about how people become successful. And everybody thinks it's like you start here and then you just get here when really the journey is like this and then you get all the way up there think about like ryan Tannehill. ryan Tannehill was sitting behind mariota at tennessee after getting kicked out of miami knowing that he would have been great but having to face a little bit of adversity being a backup and then getting an opportunity to go those type of stories are littered through the nfl's history now granted there's people that just think 
and stink yeah. and for whatever reason never live up to it. But no matter what the Cleveland Browns decide to do, and I guess all signs are pointing to him coming back, and who knows what it'll be like next year, there's a chance that Baker goes on and has immense success after this. And everything that was said from the Baker team and other people about this year being complete fuckery because he literally could not aim, I mean, trying to throw something without being able to move that could be... Or what if he comes back fully healthy, gets hurt again, and he stinks? Then the entire Cleveland Browns think it's all going to rain down on it, and Baker Mayfield will continue to use these adversities and hopefully to become a better player and everything like that. The future of Baker Mayfield is one that I'm very intrigued by. And I think he and everybody around him knows that he played nowhere near his best football. But what if he doesn't? And then get well, yet again, what if he does? He could be in line to make a big-time oh, yeah. paycheck mm -hmm. if he goes out and plays well with a roster that was built to run the rock and have him make a couple plays. I mean, there's a massive question mark around Baker Mayfield. And right now, my biggest is that tank top. And the next one is how will – the Cleveland Browns decide to handle the entire Baker Mayfield situation. Well, and that's why it's so hard to predict, right? Is because there's like he has. By the to way, stay, shout out tank tops. Shout yeah, out tank shout tops. Out tank tops. Shout he has to Massimo. stay healthy. Like he, if he doesn't stay healthy, if he come, if he does all this rehab, he's out four to six months, and then he gets hurt in the fourth week of the season, and you know, like it, it doesn't matter. Like that's kind of been a knock on him. Just like Jimmy G, it's like, hey, when this guy is fully healthy, he's very good, but we can't rely on him being fully healthy all the time. And then off the field, he said, my family and everything being, yeah. I mean, his wife has gone to bat for uh -huh. him because that's a natural thing to do. Mm -hmm. I think whenever somebody's in the public eye and you're the significant other, and you see a lot of shit being said that you don't think is fair because you're seeing the behind the the scenes of it so i wonder you know with the god bless thank you i'll get back to my true self they're probably pretty pumped to get to a new mental state here yeah. during the offseason the grind that was and move on but that rehab is going to suck i mean let, let's terrible let's not get it twisted like jj watts rehab to get back was had to be fucking miserable mm -hmm. i mean it's painful it's long hours don't granted he gets paid a lot of money to do it so yeah do it you know, I understand that. But also, the process is not a fun one. Baker's about to get in there, and Andrew Barry has to make a decision. You know, they, that roster at the beginning of the year, I mean, you got OBJ, who's had six touchdowns mm -hmm. in like eight weeks or yeah. whatever at this point for another team. Mm -hmm. You got Jarvis Landry, who's an absolute dog. Austin Hooper, who's a baller. Mm -hmm. And Joku's over mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And then in the backfield, you got two all pros potentially, mm -hmm. including mm -hmm. one that didn't play. I don't know, eight, nine games, and was still top five rusher yeah. at a time in Nick Chubb. An offensive line. Paid a bunch of guys. A bunch yeah. of guys. They're ready Stunts. to go. The defense, the defensive line, not only Miles Garrett, you bring in Clowney, who made some big-time plays in the back end. That roster is built to go. It's you got to go. And Andrew Barry has to be feeling that same thing. It's just like the situation here in Indy almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. close. It's just like the situation here in yeah. Indy, although Carson has already gotten paid. Baker has not gotten paid. But whenever you're on a roster that is built to go on a run and you don't go on a run and you're in the position that has the most importance in a game of football and you played in basically every single game, no matter how injured you were, you were in that game mm -hmm. and the team did not succeed. That's, a, that's an interesting predicament for old Andrew Barry to be in. Yeah, and he's definitely, you know, down in the dumps. But when you look at how many, you know, he was very sad. first year, you think second he was sad year. In there? Oh, yeah. Very at sad. the end, he was he was pretty down. I, but I mean, I thought eyes. he was just trying to be. Those are sad eyes. No, when you're talking about during really? the season, he was getting like death threats, wasn't he? During the oh. season, there were reports of him getting death threats because of how bad I also have a stat that. Playing. What's that? I don't want to spread misinformation on this show. Go ahead. Um, the Ravens lost their last six games to have the same record as the Browns. Oh, okay, stat that. Stat so, that. So they're tied for third. Yeah. But both tied for last. Yeah. Okay. That's the... Uh, stat that. Mm -hmm. So they went from fourth to third, but they're still in last. They're, when you look at the standings, they're in third and the Ravens are in fourth, so I don't know what's going on with tiebreakers or whatever. I just didn't want to spread misinformation on this program. Well, thank you. I Because you did laugh mightily. Uh -huh. Yeah, big time. He had a good hearty laugh when oh, he yeah? Really oh, yeah. thought that they potentially ended up in last in AFC North. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, because they were talking about the Browns going to the Super Bowl this year. Yeah. So whenever they end up tied for third or not making the playoffs. Yeah. And when two out of the other teams with Ben Roethlisberger yeah. throwing 75 times a game for 115 yards. Yeah. Well, I mean, that team's making the playoffs. One time, dude. One time. What's that? <laughs> the stats didn't matter that game. It wasn't just that game, dude. I mean, yeah. you go back. Few. Guy threw for 107 yards on 97 attempts. Yeah, uh -huh. oh, threw it, he threw it 3,000 times this year for 1,500 yards. None this guy, None this guy is on a run of 400 straight games with at least 100 God. yards passing. Yeah. God. How dare you? It's incredible. Fifth most passing yards all time in NFL history. Well, we know how he was collecting them very. Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. he had a long time. Nick time to get there. at the end there. Come on.